November 2018 is about to end and what's better way to end this than our monthly app series. So let's check out some of the useful application and discover this month. Like always, all the links will be in the description below. Let's begin. Number 1. Reachability Cursor these days, I'm using a Note 9, and while I do love the no-notch H2H Super AMOLED display, but the 6.5 inch is a bit of overkill. And it's not just Note 9, the bigger displays are everywhere, be it Pixel 3 XL, OnePlus 60 or iPhone XS Max. So if you're one of those with a bigger display phone but an average human size hand, well you should check out Reachability Cursor. Once installed and given all the permission, you can use your phone just like you normally do. There isn't any ugly sidebar or anything. But only when you swipe in from a pre-selected area, you can find a big circular dot tracking your fingers, which you can use to control the display. For example, I can open the app drawer and launch the Amazon app which is sitting on the top or even bring down the notification tray and control Bluetooth flashlight etc. without actually using the other hand. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Anyways, Reachability Cursor is free with few paid features like drag gestures or long press simulation that will cost you $5. Do check it out. Number 3. Hyperin Launcher I slap on a Nova launcher on every phone I switch to, but for a while it's getting boring. I mean, it's a good launcher, but if you want to try something new, give Hyperion Launcher a try. It's a new launcher by the makers of Substratum and it's pretty cool. If you swipe up, it launches the app drawer and if you swipe down, it brings and extends the notification tray. Nothing special here, most of the launchers can do that. And if you long press on the open area, it will bring up the quick settings like your phone settings, icon packs, wallpaper etc. I kind of like that and going on to the home settings, you can further change the looks and the feel of the launcher. Overall, I wouldn't say it's any way better than the Nova launcher, but if you're looking for something fresh, try this out. This is Audible. Now Audible recently launched in India and I couldn't be happier. I have been using their Audible US for 5 years now and while I love their service, $15 a month, well it's a bit expensive. Thankfully it's much cheaper in India. Now for all those who don't know how Audible works, well they have a book that is read it out to you by a professional voiceover artist and it follows a subscription model just like Netflix. So you need to download the application from Play Store, log in with your Amazon account and choose a plan. Once your free trial is over, the subscription amounts get automatically deducted. In India, it comes with the aggressive pricing of just 200 rupees, which is less than $3. While in US, I used to pay $15 every month and you get one credit for which you can buy one book. Overall, I'm still sticking with the US version now since the Indian book catalog is not matured yet. But hopefully once it gets out of beta, they will be adding more books. Number 5. Cash Pro With heaps of sale coming this season, you can use Cash Pro to save some money. Cashcaro, as the name suggests, is an online cashback website and now they have also launched their Android app. Now here's a cool thing, on the Play Store, they have added 5 stars in their name. I mean, come on Cashcaro, don't go for that. But anyways, the application is cool. So here's how it works. You download the application, sign up or sign in and then you go through the online stores like Amazon, Flipkart, Mentor, etc. Once you click on that, it will open the mobile website in a web view which is needed to track your session. It can't open the application as of now. Now shop on the website just like you usually do and once you check out, you will get a little cashback from Cashcaro wallet in form of gift cards from Amazon or Flipkart. Not a real money though. Overall, I have been using Cashcaro for over 4 years now and it kind of works as you can see from my purchase history. But then again, I ordered a lot of smartphones and laptops for testing and most of you are not going to do that. That said, something is better than nothing and we Indians love discount, don't we? Moving on to the next one. So some Windows computers have a fingerprint sensor and even the new MacBook Air has a touch ID. But in case you don't have any of those, well try Remote Fingerprint Unlock. It basically lets you unlock any Windows computer from your Android smartphone using the fingerprint sensor, provided that it's running on Android 6.0, Marshmallow or higher. To get it working, all you have to do is install the application on your phone and its server on your computer. And once you're done with the setup, you can simply bring your phone closer to your Windows laptop and tap on the fingerprint reader to unlock it. Pretty dope, right? The application is free but if you pay $2, you can get features like Wake on LAN, support for multiple PC and of course no ads. And finally, an application for WhatsApp users. 
So WhatsApp recently introduced a new feature to share stickers and I'm sure most of you are aware of that. And to make sure other users don't abuse this sticker feature with the hasty crop images, WhatsApp only allow users to add stickers via third party application. But wouldn't it be awesome if you can create your own personal stickers? Well, here's how you can do that. Simply open this application and create a new sticker pack. Set the title and the author of the sticker pack and press create. Now select an image. Once you do that, it will open the photo editor where you can crop the face. If it looks good to you, press on save sticker button and that's pretty much it. So yeah, there you go. These were some of my favorite application of November 2018. Let me know which one do you like or if you know any little known apps that other might find useful, let us know in the comment section below. As always, it's Manal signing off. I will see you in the next one.